Hello, uh, I would like to share my latest project with you. It's called Phobos and it's an e-commerce website creator. It has two parts, which one uh, is the store and other one is admin panel. Let's start with the store. Uh, I basically downloaded a free template and edited it for my needs. We have phone number, email and the products, also the social media links. They all come from the panel, but for now, other parts uh, are dummy data. Mm, we have a card system and it's working. Let's go uh, products. The name here, it's coming from the panel. The slug here, which is unique identifier for each product, also in the URL. We have price and uh, for now, images are dummy, not coming from the panel. We can add this product to cards, and you can see it's here. We can add more, and we can visit the cards. It shows the product name, price, amounts, and the total amount. We can click checkout. We have to fill our bling address and information and then we can place order. But if we have an account, we can um, just display uh, information automatically. So by default, we have some dummy accounts here. I will pick an email and I will log in. Yes, uh, but for now, if we add something in the cards without logging, and after we log in, we will lose our cards. I have to fix that. Uh, let's add a new item to our cards. Yes, let's increase the amount, and the price is changing. We can check out and because we sign in so the uh, website is automatically filling this information for us we just need to click place order and i integrated stripe uh, to get payments and it's on the test account so name and uh, we have to give a card information and the name is doesn't matter and the testing card is this some random number and some future date we can pay now it's processing and if everything goes fine it says order successful we can return the store and to make sure uh, the payment is done we can go to the stripe refresh it as you can see the latest uh, transaction is done so we can go to the, our orders to see is it registered you can see it says pro uh, processing we can click to details to see everything about uh, our order we have our products price amount and total price and also we have our shipping address and contact information okay uh, that's basically it for the store page uh, there are a lot of things to done but for now we have this let's go to the panel uh, this analytics things are uh, right now uh, dummy they are not real but the others are pretty real we have products, orders, blog, users, media, settings, and help sections. Let's start with the products. We have products and product categories. Uh, okay, in products, project uh, is creating us dummy uh, products to learn it. Uh, we have something here, we can edit it. There are some information about our products and let's change its category click save 
it started as Turkish um, but I decided to make it English so there are some tran translations are um, not correct we can delete a product click delete and it's deleted we can add new and we can do the same things for the categories we can edit it we can delete it we have orders uh, let's see that's the one we ordered we have order uh, order ID and customer name full name and the order date also the order status and order total amount if we click on edit we should see the information full information about uh, the order we have the products total customer country and all the essential data I also edit a blog section because it can be useful we have posts we have categories tags they all are the same with products we can edit we can um, change this category and we can delete the posts categories tags they all work fine and we have user section uh, we can create users and we can edit user information we can change user email etc uh, we have media section we can delete edit yeah that's one not working uh, we can delete that we can add new file upload new file Yes, it's uploaded and also we have settings general and um, inside general we have site title and site description we have contact information we are we can change our email and phone and we have social settings for social account URLs And also, uh, I created a help section where we can manage support tickets. And for this panel, we can uh, add user manual to uh, learn how this panel works. And also, we can log out. And that's the login page uh, for the panel. Also, this project is uh, open source. You can see the source, you can contribute it, you can use it for free. Uh, I shared it on GitHub and I will give you the link. Also, I created something cool for that thank you for sharing your time with me